Hey you, I'm celebrity menswear stylist, Ashley Weston. Today I'm joined by my fiance and business partner, Dorian. Hello. And so some of our favorite shoes out there, especially when the months warm up a little bit, are definitely loafers. So there are a couple styles out there um, that I wanna recommend to you all. I realized that we've actually never done no. a video never. focused solely on loafers. It's usually like a shoe video that we included one option yep. and then there's one option here. So I wanted to just do one in-depth video about our favorite types of loafers. Yes. So let's get into it. So the first type of loafer is a penny loafer. So this, oh my gosh, penny loafers, I feel like are one of my favorite, if not my favorite loafer out there. It's a classic, it's timeless, it's so handsome looking. I love it when you wear it. Well, previous to meeting you, I they weren't really on my radar. I always thought penny loafers are kind of the horse bit loafers. No. So I was just like, no. ugh, all the douchebag agents and guys I used to know would wear it. I'm like, I'm not wearing that. And then you kept saying, you need to get penny loafers. I'm like, no, no, I'm good. And then- So I came home with a pair for him. And I was like, <laughs> okay, I get it. These look pretty awesome. I specifically like wearing them during the warmer parts of the year because they go well with chinos. You can technically wear them with shorts as well. And um, jeans. And jeans, they look great with jeans and also with summer weight suits. So they kind of float in a lot of different areas and they're pretty versatile and um, they can actually be very comfortable. I think a lot of guys see the leather and go, eh, I don't know if it's not gonna be very comfortable for me. They're actually quite comfortable, especially after you break them in after a couple wears. Um, these are definitely my go-to shoes during the warmer parts of the year and they're just classy enough to just elevate any outfit you wear them with as well. So they're, they're just a great one to have, no and question. And then as far as colors go, I recommend going with a brown color and then black and then like for your secondary or for your third, I guess, because you'll want a black and a brown um, loafer, but for your third pair or so forth, go with like a cool oxblood burgundy color. Yeah. Um, but brown, you'll probably wear a lot more. That's the one I wear the most. Yeah, you wear your brown ones a lot more. So I've listed some of my favorite ones out there as well as budget-friendly options in the description below. Definitely be sure to check out the links. And the next type that we both really love are driving mocks. So, Dorian, actually, he has a pair on funny, right now. <laughs> funny you should mention that. I'm uh, wearing one of my, I think I have four pairs of these now. Yes. They're so freaking comfortable. Mm -hmm. Like, I gotta, th these are great. <laughs> I want to say not all driving mocks are made the same. No. Our, our favorite ones are by Todd's, but yep. I've listed a couple of budget-friendly options below. Um, but they're, like Dorian said, they're super comfortable, they're breathable, and they work very well in a ton of casual situations. I think though the one caveat here is that you want more the nubbed um, sole as yeah. opposed to just the straight um, rubber, rubber on the sole. bottom. Mm -hmm. I noticed that men, when you tell them to wear a driving mock and they don't exactly know what they're doing, come back with something that is sort of a driving mock loafer, but not at all. Yeah. So you have to be careful. The design is really gonna matter in these. Um, Ash has some great picks below, check it out. But they can go wrong really quickly with these I've noticed the most, right? So Ash, I, I pretty much own every color under the sun in these. And so what should guys start with though? Okay, what do you think? Definitely start with a brown color. I always recommend going with a dark brown, then you can go with a tan, then navy, and then gray. So yep. those are like the color choices. And if you want like definitely. a crazy pop of color, you can go with maybe a red or yellow in some cases, depends on your skin color. I can't pull off a yellow. Red, I can kind of do only in shoes though. That's it with blue jeans maybe. Yeah, but it's just, a pretty loud uh, statement. It's a little too loud and preppy for me. <laughs> I, I just say honestly stick with the colors that I just mentioned yeah. and you will look sharp and always put together and it'll go with the rest of your wardrobe. Oh, what about green? Green. Green, a dark green, a yeah. dark like hunter green. Jewel, yes. jewel tone. Yeah. Great. And the next type of loafer is a boat shoe. So it's like, I would say like the more casual little brother of the driving mock. Maybe a cousin. Yeah, like a, or a, a distinct, <laughs> yeah, maybe a cousin, a little bit of a cousin. It's comfortable, breathable. It has the rubber um, sole on the bottom. So in case you are on a boat, for instance. <laughs> Heaven for, who would have thought? I know, <laughs> wearing boat shoes on a boat, you will not slip. Yeah. Um, I always recommend getting blues or a dark brown or even a, a lighter brown color. Like a tan? As, yeah, as well as gray. Those all look really great. But 
I only recommend wearing these with super casual clothing. You cannot dress up boat shoes at There's all. There's no tuxedo version of a boat no. shoe? Come nope. on. Nope, nope, not at all. Well, the added benefit of boat shoes though is that they're incredibly affordable, even the best boat shoes that Ashley linked below in the description. Yeah. So they're just good to have great casual shoes as well. They go great with shorts as well. It's just fun to have and, and something a little bit different in your outfit as opposed to just a standard driving mock. So Ash, those are the three you highly recommend, but there's three other styles that men should consider as well. Yes, they're more specific, I yeah, would say. Yeah, yeah, but before we get into that, oh. I think we should, let's, let's give this video a thumbs up, right? Right? Please, it's pretty please. good so far. <laughs> if you like this video and wanna see more, subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. There you uh, go. All right, so let's okay. get into the three other styles of loafers yeah. that you should probably consider. We'll do it really quickly. So first off, tasseled loafers. I ugh, I don't love them, but I don't hate them. I just feel like the tassels on the front remind me of untucked shoelaces. And <laughs> it's really annoying and distracting. She is a shoelace yes. Nazi. I believe just like your clothing, your shoes should be streamlined and they should look sharp and they shouldn't be clunky a lot and of all stuff of that. Happening yeah, so around. that's why I'm not the biggest fan of tasseled loafers. A lot of style bloggers out there wear them, um, but- It's kind of a peacocky kind of shoe a little bit. It definitely is. Right? So I guess if you want to add a little flair, then you can sure. certainly wear tasseled loafers. It reminds me of my dad yes. a little bit. Now the next style, the next style of loafers is a horse bit loafer. So Gucci's iconic loafer is a horse bit loafer. Yeah. It's where you have the little metal decorative piece on the front. Um, I always imagine like Wall Street guys or like older lawyers that look really like are wearing like oversized suits. Um, they're I, the ones that wear ho horse bit loafers. I think when guys have a little more money than sense or maybe a little bit more, less of a handle on their style, they see other guys wearing these in the same area as them. I used to see a bunch of douchebag agents wearing these all the time and they kind of ruined it for me a little bit. Um, but I think they still look pretty cool. I was just walking around the other day and I heard a guy like cling, 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 like walking like spurs. And I was like, what is that? And I turned around, he was wearing horse bit loafers, but they were clearly very cheap because they should not be clinking around like that. Mm -hmm. So Ash linked a couple of her favorites below. Um, just be careful when you go with the cheap versions. Ash will link some good ones, but they will make noises yes. and they should not make noise like that. Absolutely no. not. No. Um, and then that leads us to the final style, which is like a Venetian loafer or a smoking slipper. Yeah. So just Think of a loafer stripped all the way down, so you just have the foundation, the shape of a loafer. Yeah. That's what a Venetian loafer is. Um, a smoking loafer is kind of just like another version of it. It's just generally velvet. Yep. Um, now, it has a little detail yeah, on that. Yeah, I'll, the... I'll actually style my clients in these types of shoes when we want to add some flair to their black tie outfits. So I always will go with like a velvet or a patent leather Venetian slipper um, that I'll pair with their tuxedo. Um, but outside of that, I don't recommend ever wearing them because it just looks very in, flashy. In person, it looks a little off. It and, definitely uh, does. In photos, it looks great, I think. And it's like, kind of like a little edge, a little bit of an alternative footwear to wear. Like you said, when your clients are in tuxedos or like really sharp outfits, it, it it's like great. you want to mix it up a little yeah. bit. But in daily life, when you see people wearing it, you're just kind of like, huh? Yeah, especially smoking slippers. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're usually velvet. They have an embellishment on top. That's what kind of makes them a smoking they slipper. They look more at home, I think, with a silk robe than they do yeah, like Hugh out Hefner, on the street. You know, yeah. with your yes. little Playboy bunnies next to you. Yeah. So, okay, if you want to go that route, Make but sure you got I, some but women. I definitely see older men wearing Venetian um, loafers. They're in leather and they have like the um, the sewn edges like around the side. It's like a really cheap, cheap shoe that it's almost like a square toed shoe equivalent oh. that I see a lot of older men wearing with their suits. Do not ever, 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 ever wear a Venetian slipper like that. Um, only wear it, treat it like a super formal item yeah. and pair it with that like-minded clothing. Basically. Ash links some more of those below as well, so you yeah. can take a look, but just be really careful with how you wear and pair them because it can go sideways pretty quick, right? Yep. Yeah. All right, so like Dorian already mentioned, we've listed all of our favorite ones, including budget-friendly options in the description below. Definitely be sure to check those out. Anyways, that's it. It's fun, we never did a loafer video. I couldn't believe it when we were going through the list, like, oh yeah, we should probably do that right now. So here we are. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Yep. All right. Bye. Bye.